Hey guys, how's it going? Long time no talk, long time no see. How have you guys been? I hope you guys have been well. Happy New Year to you, and I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas. So, Kunoichi is finally here, and we're gonna get started with her skill guide. All right, so I have 885 skill points. I was going to make this video when I was going to get to a thousand skill points, but because I've been working so much lately, I figured it's okay to make this video because you don't really need a thousand skill points right now for her pre-awakening skills because you would definitely max out all of her important skills. So we're gonna just going to go down the list here. And so, all right, so wind slash, this is your basic attack. It looks like that. It's pretty cool. It will level as you level, as usual. It will give you WP back, which is really, really good. It's stiffness on good jump attacks, which is really cool. You got a down attack. It's, it's awesome. It's a great skill. Um, it also knocks back on good mounted hits if you're on a horse. It's just pretty cool. Absolute wind slash. You don't have to put any points into that as of right now. Ninjutsu block jump, this is gonna be your pivotal PvP skill, which is very awesome. So if you fought against a ninja, you've definitely seen this skill. It, uh, it allows you to teleport right behind your enemy and you can initiate a grab combo, which is pretty cool. Fader win, I do not think I put any points into this, so you can ignore it. But if you want to put points into it, by all means, you can. Target Chase, this is um, your sprint skill. This is very good. I kept it at level 1 for right now. Uh, I don't really see any need to put any points into it. If you do put points into it and max it out at level 3, you will have this sprint speed plus 20% for 20 seconds at max level which is you know pretty nice ghost step this is your iframe and super armor so you want to max this out right away as soon as you possibly can this is your your dash left right forward and back this is very good night evasion now you can keep this at level one if you want to but i decided to max it out because i like the movement distance that it does uh that that it gives after you use a ghost step so that's completely up to you you can still try it out and see if you like it but i maxed it out at level three fatal blow you definitely want to get this to max level and then you want to absolute it because that absolute it does you can see it does so much damage that 1500 damage times two it has a hundred percent critical hit rate and it stiffens on good hits this is a really really good it's a really good thing and it's also an air attack and you and if you don't already know air attacks are like the highest damage modifier in the game right in front of I believe back attacks so I do believe air attack is the highest hitting attack and back attacks are the second highest so I absoluted this skill which is really good so I believe you should absolute it when you can brace now I kept this at level one um, until later levels and then I maxed it out. And I do believe I absoluted it because it does give you WP recovery and HP recovery and it essentially maxes out all your whole WP and it's a cooldown for 13 seconds. This is really, really good. I also put a point into Kunai Stab so that I can get the Flow Fatal Blow combo. Um, you wanna get this, this is really good. And yes, you want an absolute brace. Uh, absolute, you get a th plus 300 WP and plus 200 HP recovery, which is really good. It's really nice. 
it's very noticeable Crescent Slash I kept this at level 1 usually you would want to lock this skill but I I I kind of keep it unlocked for when I'm PvPing so I want to do as much damage as I possibly can right now during pre-awakening so I keep it unlocked for PvE situation but if I'm in a PvP scenario I may lock it there are other options that you can use but many other Kunoichi they probably use it in a combo but for now I kept it at level 1 Kunai block you automatically get this which is really cool skill um, you block it's not you don't you definitely don't want to always use this block but it's there um, great for certain situations if you get stuck in a situation sticky situation throwing kick I kept this at level one but I did get floor sweeping this is um, you want to at least get level one for floor sweeping because it is also part of your combo and it's a good way to cancel one of your high damaging skills which what I will tell you as soon as we get to the skill Alright, we're gonna keep going down. We're gonna ignore the skill that I didn't really put any points into. You definitely, so you can see that you get the shurikens. You definitely want to have a kunai. So don't use the shuriken because you'll lose out on three different skills for the kunai and you won't be able to use your kunai block if you use the shuriken. And during pre-awakening, having that block is pretty nice. Going down. All right, Shadow Slash. This skill is a really, really good skill. It, um, well, I mean, it's not a really, really good skill. I kept it at level one. What I use it for is the attack speed buff. So plus 5% for 10 seconds. But if you... Yep, it doesn't go up, so I kept it at level 1. So you get a plus 5% attack speed for 10 seconds, which is pretty good for Kunoichi. Kunoichi, you, as a Kunoichi, you really want attack speed, so having that is really good. Smoke screen, you want to max this skill out. I max this skill out. It's a super armor. It stuns for targets under smoke screen, which is really good, and it increases your invasion rate plus 18% for 10 seconds. Now, evasion, you're not really going to focus on evasion until later on when you reach the soft cap. Then you start utilizing the evasion builds. So, but um, it's a good skill. Maxed it out. Super armor. Stun. It's a great skill. Then just to consume it, I do believe you get this skill automatically. Um, it's, it, you use it right after smoke screen. It's a really, really good skill. You can catch people off guard. You can use it as a way to um, close the gap, which is also really good. I use the sometimes I use smoke screen into a concealment into a ghost step, which is closing the gap, which is really good. Um, heart aiming I believe I maxed this skill out and I absoluted it because that absolute you can see is a thousand seven hundred and sixty five percent times three is a critical hit rate of hundred percent accuracy rate plus hundred percent it stuns on good hit it's an absolutely devastating skill it does a lot of damage so if you were able to get behind somebody and use this skill you do a lot of damage to them so if you can get really good at positioning yourself to use this skill you'll do a lot of damage so you definitely want to absolute this skill suicide fall well as you know we do not have awakening yet so i did put some point into this skill just because I wanted to do more damage in PvP situations if I were to ever get into PvP situations because usually I would run but 
you know if I wanted to hold my ground I want to have I want to be able to do as much damage as possible in any possible way that I can so I put three points into suicide fall because at that level you're doing 1862 percent times one is um, accuracy rate plus 100% and it bounces on good hits so this is your grab um, essentially you have to be extremely close to your opponent so when you initiate the grab you have to go all in so if you go into to the grab and you don't know what you're doing you're definitely going to die so definitely know your combos when you're um, using your grab skill and if you want to, if you have excess amount of skill points, we won't have awakening for a whole month, so you might as well put some points into it. I haven't absoluted it yet. I don't know why I have enough points to do that. So if you want to put points into your grab, you can. The extra damage helps for PvP situations. Ankle cutter. I marked this skill out and I absoluted it. It a it has a critical hit rate of plus 100 percent. It has an accuracy rate of plus five percent. All DP minus 20 uh, for five seconds, which is really really good. So this is one of those skills that you want to use right before you start using your heavy hitting attacks. So. Having this that absolute is definitely going to be good for you. Ghost greeting. Ghost greeting is your it's a, a gap closer. So you definitely want to get this skill at level three and you should absolute it. I have not absolute it yet. I don't know why I'm being very lazy, but I would absolute it. It's a gap closer. It has a attack speed plus. 5% for 10 seconds it floats on good hit it stiffens on good hits and I don't see why you wouldn't uh, absolute it Fox Claw you definitely want to mark this skill out this skill is really good it um, it helps you get your HP back uh, plus 50 per every good hit which is like if you go up to a group of mobs and you use this skill you'll get almost almost most of your health back but not like a, a lot it's not as good as your you know the launch dash because she can do it twice but it's a really really good skill to you know get your HP back when you're fighting against mob and then on top of that it does do a lot of damage so the extra hit damage is a thousand six hundred and fifty two percent times four and it has an accuracy rate of plus fifteen percent which is really 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 good and it does stiffen so this is absolutely good skill and it has an air attack on good extra hits and down attack which is really really good so you definitely want to absolute this skill now ninjutsu shadow stomp this is one of your heavy hitting skills. So you want to mark this skill out immediately and you want to absolute this skill immediately. It, at absolute, it does a boatload of damage. It it just does a lot of damage. I don't know what's, why it does so much damage, but compared to the ninja shadow stomp or whatever, the Kunoichi's version, it just does so much more damage. I just don't know where it's coming from so it's also a forward guard and it floats on good hits so um, you can catch people off guard doing this and then the next skill which is right is the flow so this you use the shadow stomp into a shadow clone so the shadow clone is going to look something like that you definitely want to get this to level 3 and at level 60 once you get there you want to absolute it i'm not level 60 right now so but once i get there i would definitely max um, absolute it so it has a plus 100 percent 
critical hit rate in PvP, which is really, really strong. This is a really strong skill. It also does give you HP recovery plus 45 per every good hit, which is really good. So when you're grinding and you need to get, you know, some more health back, you can use this skill to get some HP back. And it also is an air attack, which is really, really strong. So definitely absolute it. Flash Slash. I kept this at level one. It's a good skill. It's a super armor and it's an iframe when you disappear. So when you're invisible, it's an iframe. And it's a super armor on attack. It's a pretty good skill. It's a stiffness. But the only thing about the skill is that that whole animation, it the skill goes off really, really slow. So I don't use it often um because like during this whole animation right here right before it's just like it's just a really really slow so i wouldn't use it um but it does have the it is a black spirit attack i do believe yeah it's your 100 percent. so i use this in rbf when I have my 100% and there's a whole bunch of people and I want to stun everybody, that's like the best time to use it. So then I let my, my whole team kill them, all the people who are stunned and stuff like that. Ninjutsu Shackles, I kept this at level 1. It does stun on good hits, which is really good, but it's not a safe skill to use. And also it has a very, very slow animation. So it's definitely not safe so i would only use it if you're confident that the person you're fighting against doesn't cc you you have to be very confident that this person doesn't cc you so but it does stun and it is on my um, ring menu so i do use it in certain situations lock ground thrust you don't need it. Tendon Cutter. This is one of the coolest skills. It um, You definitely want to absolute it at level 58. So getting to level 60 is, is crucial. You definitely want to get to level 60. Yeah, that's where you get all your important skills. But get to level 58, you absolute Tendon Cutter. Blade hit damage is 954% times 9. Slash damage is 1134% times 6, which is really, really good. And it hits up to 10 targets. Attack speed up. It's a super armor. It's a stiffness. It's a really, really good skill. And it is a good skill to use to um, confuse your opponent. It's a, it's a good way of getting behind your opponent if you angle your camera as you activate the skill so you're gonna go to the left first so if you turn your camera to the left a little bit you can if you get really good at it you can position yourself behind your opponent and then initiate a combo from there so definitely want to absolute tendon cutter ninjutsu black moonlight you want to max this skill out it does a lot of damage um while the person is down because it hit for 671 percent times seven times so when they're down and you use this skill it's really really strong but you don't want to use this skill when they're not you if your opponent is not down don't use this skill it does stiffen on good hits but you have to be really confident that it stiffens your opponent because it's not a protective skill and you shouldn't just be using it just be, just because. Only use this skill when your opponent is down. Ninjutsu Shadow Explosion. Now, this skill does a lot of damage. At absolute. For a skill, this skill does a lot of damage. It, at absolute, it's a super armor. But... I haven't invested any points into this skill because it has a very, very slow wind up. It's super slow. 
but it does a lot of damage but it's super slow to activate so you if you understand how the game works if a skill has a slow cooldown uh, if it starts slow it's just what's the point you know but later on maybe I'll focus on this skill figure out what I can do with it but for now I didn't put any point into it I kept it at level one for now because I was focusing on other skills that I need to use so um, you can decide whether or not you want to use this skill it does do a lot of damage and so yeah and then obviously you have your passives so you want to max this out and you also want to max out your infinite mastery because that also gives you HP and it does give you accuracy rate plus two percent you know and as you keep leveling up you get more and more and more skill hunter obviously you want to put points into that to do more damage against monsters and then the ways that you will be using is common and that's pretty much it um so yeah so that's the kunoichi guide skill guide so if this video helped you a lot please do leave a like on the video because it helps me know that i'm helping you and yeah so it, i am saying that this is not like the best guide out there this is not something like you should follow this is something that in my experience that helped me and if you have your own little skill build and you're using certain skills that I'm not using or if I'm using certain skills that you're not using and I just gave you a little rundown on why you should get the skill I mean you you decide what you know best for you in this moment because like for example your grab you don't really need to put any points into your grab if you're not PvPing, you don't really need to put any points into it because but because we don't have awakening for another month why not put any points into it it does have you know damage reducing in PvP but it still does some moderate damage you know and I you know it, it, it everyone's different and because we have a month you have a month of experimenting and just having fun and trying to understand the class as a whole because if you really want to play a class you definitely need to understand what skills it does how the skill goes off why you should be using the skill and you want to master all the classes yeah you can go to the kunoichi pc discord and follow their guides yeah i follow their guides too but i also try to find why they use certain skills rather than just like blindly following the guide so yeah so i hope this guide helped you a lot i'm 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 ready to get back into the game of bdo there's a lot to experiment there's a lot to to do and if you want to see my current build right now this is my current build so I have a tech Kazarka and a tech Kudum right now I really wish I had a Nuver but that will have to wait until later uh, I need to tap my dim tree spirit armor and I need to tap my musking shoes then I definitely need to focus on my accessories but um, that's my build right now and um, yeah so I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next one which is when Port Awakening comes out alright so you guys have a great day be safe bye